So I'm gonna share with you a few tips on finding caterpillars. Now, why caterpillars? Caterpillars are amazing markers of biodiversity. There's a couple caterpillars that are pests that we know about that you oftentimes see, but most caterpillars hide in the landscape and are very, very difficult to find. And so they're masters of disguise, they're mimics, they are, they change colors or shapes, or sometimes their patterns help them blend into leaves. And so there's lots of different types of caterpillars in the landscape, and here's just a quick few tips for how to find them. According to one caterpillar guide that I love, Caterpillars of Eastern North America, they kind of enter in the realm of fantasy. Slug caterpillars and silk moths and all these different types of really epic caterpillars. So keep an eye out and see if you can find them. So this plant is a spice bush. So this is a special plant, it's really fragrant, it's also wonderful for producing berries in the fall that actually are similar to allspice. So it's like a temperate zone spice that is kind of amazing, so it's an understory plant. But it is also the host plant for the spice bush swallowtail. And this guy is an early instar. Look how gorgeous so they are bird dropping mimics and then later on they become green snake-like caterpillars and they're so fun. So this is actually a very special thing to see and the way you can tell is oftentimes what I look for is leaves that are munched and it's somewhat recent munching and then a folded over leaf just like that. So another one that I might see, let's see, double check and another actually that I saw that looks kind of like a folded over leaf is this one right here and let's just check inside here too just to see if there's anybody else in there sometimes you can see down the hole looks like that one is empty but you never know a great way to find caterpillars is looking for the munch marks sometimes looking for caterpillar poop or frass on the leaves and then also looking for those leaf curls like this right here, those are all different ways you can tell and see if there are caterpillars nearby. And then of course also knowing the host plant is really, really helpful for finding caterpillars. So fun! So when looking for caterpillars, uh, something that's cluing me off that there could be somebody here is you'll notice all these chew marks. There's a couple different leaves that are chewed. And so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for fresh chew marks. So some areas have a little bit of brown where they've kind of dried out, but if you find extremely fresh ones, sometimes it's enough to clue you on that there's a caterpillar here. And so for example, also what I look for are leaf rolls. And actually if I look in here, it looks like there's somebody in there. Excellent, I think I found a caterpillar. But they usually tend to hide themselves in leaf rolls or try to mimic or somehow disguise themselves.